Hello everyone, this is Viren Bed and welcome back to another marketing tutorial. Continuing from the previous video where we saw how we can install Facebook Pixel on our website, in this video we are going to go ahead and create a few events on our website so that we can track conversions from our Facebook ads. So to get started, let's open up the ad manager. And click on this menu, all tools and go to pixels. As you can see, we had installed our pixel on the website and now we're able to track the people coming to the website. Um, this time we are going to go ahead and create conversion. Now there are two web methods of tracking conversions on Facebook. Like you can see here, one is track conversion with standard events or create custom conversions. Now standard events are um, events that usually websites could use like view content or search or add to cart, add to wish list conversions like these that you might have on your website. So you can copy this code and paste it on the page wherever the conversion is taking place so that Facebook can track it for you. You can also conveniently email your developer from here in case you're not handling the development yourself. You can also create custom conversions where you can yourself add what the URL contains or what the URL is equal to or an event from your website. You can select the category, what kind of an event that is. Uh, now for my website, let me try and create a custom conversion pixel. So let's go to wayinbad.com. Now one of the conversions for my website is when someone comes and subscribes to this website. So um, say if someone was to add in the email ID and subscribe. As you can see, the website reloads and I add certain UTM parameters to the link this time. It says UTM source, Viren Bed, campaign, thank you and medium subscribe button. So in order to create this conversion pixel, what I can do is I can say the URL contains and I can copy this, paste it here. There you go. Now, whenever my website is loaded and the URL contains this, Facebook knows that this is a conversion that I want to track. And for me, this is a lead, someone who's interested in my content. Let's click next. I can add a name to this. Let's call it, call it email subscription. You can also set a conversion value to it. For me, it doesn't really have a conversion value. And I'm going to go ahead and create this. Done. Now, if we go back into the ads manager and try and create an ad, this time, let's select conversion as the campaign objective. Let's continue. And you will see this time, it'll ask you to select a conversion event. And like you can see, there is one conversion event here, which we created called email subscription. And now we can, we can very well create campaigns with this. So let's select an audience. Now we have something called expand interest when it may increase conversion at a lower cost per conversion, which means that Facebook can now automatically increase, expand the interest that we have, we select here, uh, in case the algorithm understands that, you know, they can increase our conversions at a lower cost. Placements is automatic, budgeting, and now as 
I had told you before, we can optimize for the ad delivery for conversions and not just reach, clicks or impressions. There is something called conversion window added now uh, and you can select it as something called after clicking ad or after clicking or viewing ad. So what this means is if say I select seven days click, if I clicked on the ad today and I went into the website wherein.com and I did not subscribe, but I came back six days later and the seventh day I subscribed to the website, it'll still, Facebook will still count that as a conversion through this ad. And if I came on the eighth day and I subscribed, that would not be counted because the conversion window is only for seven days. So you can increase that to 28 days. You can also increase, change it to views. So that means if I just saw the ad today, I did not even click on it. And I still went into the website and subscribed. Facebook could still tag me as a conversion coming from this ad. One thing that you got to remember is that you are still going to pay Facebook per impression and not per conversion. You can go ahead, create the ad. I'm not going to do that uh, in this tutorial since I've already covered creating ads uh, in my earlier tutorials. If you go back to pixels, All right, we're done setting up the conversion and it takes a little bit of time for it to um, to appear here. So I'd generally give it a couple of hours. As you can see, I'd created one event previously called page view. This is anytime any page on the website is viewed, we can create an audience out of that too, which is another tutorial and I'll get into it later. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If I did add some value to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and share it with someone who might need this. Thank you.